okay now uh, in continuing with our series called as radiology spotter series in which we discuss classic radiological findings which you know there are images which we call as spotters in radiology which are uh, images which speak for themselves you know you as a resident or as a undergraduate the image would speak to you and tell you the diagnosis in one go that is what we call as spotter and it is a very frequent kind of a exam pattern that is used for residents as well as for undergraduates now to set the ball rolling i want you to see a image in front of you and this is a t2 weighted mri image t2 weighted mri image and you see certain lobulated lesions on the both sides this lesion looks little conglomerate and which are predominantly you know you would see i i would use the term iso intense to the gray matter on this image and you can see surrounding extensive perilegional vasogenic edema we identify this by you know finger like projections you can see perilegional vasogenic edema and focal hypo intense to iso intense lesions bilaterally on the right side the lesion looks a little conglomerate this looks a large lobular lesion and uh, this is a t2 weighted image if i look at the diffusion weighted image in the same patient i do not see restricted diffusion on the in the lesions and if i look at the contrast enhanced image they you would see predominantly the lesions would be showing you ring enhancing appearance and again the key word that comes to my mind is conglomeration you can see many of this ring enhancing lesions up together that is conglomeration so let us think over it for a moment we have a patient with multiple ring enhancing lesions although the lesion on the left side looks a little more solid to me and there is conglomeration on the lesion in the right side and whenever we look at a ring enhancing lesion in our indian setting the differential diagnosis that come to my mind would include tuberculosis and it would also include neurocysticercosis even metastasis can have a ring enhancing appearance brain abscess could be ring enhancing toxoplasmosis could have a ring enhancing appearance so how do, how do we go about it now first thing that comes to my mind is had it been a neurocysticercosis usually you would have discrete lesions edema would not be so much as we see in this image and they would have a t2 hyper intense center neurocysticercosis because of the cystic core would be hyper intense on the t2 weighted image here we see a lesion which is iso intense to hypo intense on mri and it has evidence of conglomeration and you can see thick wall in the you know lesions on the contrast enhancing Im images so i would rather not keep neurocysticercosis as a diagnosis what about brain abscess which finding in the imaging goes against brain abscess i'm sure you could appreciate we had no restricted diffusion on dwi images and it uh, i would like to keep brain abscess out of question in this image so what are we looking at ring enhancing lesions conglomerate extensive edema thick wall we we want to keep the first differential as tuberculosis now the message that i want to give through this session today is the role of mr spectroscopy here now this is a classic mr spectroscopy image which is showing a very classical finding which is called as lipid peak another finding that you see here is that the naa level n acetyl aspartate level as reduced and there is slight elevation in the choline to creatine ratio such a picture on mr spectroscopy in the setting of a ring enhancing lesion would be kind of diagnostic of tuberculosis and the take home message that i want you to take a large lipid peak in a ring enhancing lesion with a reduced level of n acetyl aspartate would be suggestive of tuberculosis especially in a country like ours please use spectroscopy to help in narrow down the differential diagnosis of a ring enhancing lesion thank you very much our purpose of this series called as radiology spotter series is to have images which are very classical typical for spotters typical for mcqs which are useful for medical students as well as residents and for more such uh, series please follow us on dams daily channel on youtube for more such videos thank you very much my name is sumair sethi and i am a radiologist